How's it going guys? So as promised, um, I got another update. Um, I got four CDs and a record, so five things, which is pretty much the, you know, which is pretty much standard in updates. Um, there was another record that I had coming in that I was hoping would come in today, but it didn't, but I got one of them, so um, good for that. Or good thing for that. Um, so I guess I will show the uh, I'll I will show the CDs first, and then I'll show the record. Um, it, it everything in the in this video is pretty much black metal related. So, um, but um, it's all, all different bands though. So also got a couple of 2016 releases in here. Um, the first two CDs I'm not going to talk too much about because I just showed these two albums on vinyl uh, in a couple of recent updates, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. So this is the first one, Dark Throne, Arctic Thunder. Um, picked this up at my local record store the other day. They had a bunch of copies in stock, figured I'd buy one. Um... I wasn't really planning on picking it up on CD. I was just kind of like, eh, you know, if I go to, you know, my record store has it, I'll buy it because I already have the record and then my record came with a download code. So there wasn't really any reason to buy it on CD, but I'm just like, fuck it. I was like, I really fucking like this record. So I was like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and get a copy on CD as well, you know, since it's here. Yeah, man, I just, I really fucking like this album. Um, I really like the pictures that they included as well. Um, I know I said it in the, la in the couple of videos, or a couple of collections updates back. I mean... Honestly, if you ever liked any era of Dark Throne, you should like this album. And um, even for the people that aren't into black metal, you should give this a listen. Because, I mean, this is very doomy sounding. Uh, kind of like, you know, Black Sabbath in a way. But um, um, I said it in a previous video. There are still some, uh, like, you know, black metal riffing going on here. So, you know, Dark Throne... Um, Kind of went back to that sound. Just just a little bit. Not, not a lot, just a little bit, though. But um, really fucking good album, though. I really like this album. Um, I think I've already said it, but it's definitely going to be on my end of the year list. Um, good stuff. Definitely check this out if you haven't. So, Dark Throne, Arctic Thunder. And then I know I literally just showed this. I probably should have just went ahead and included this CD in my last update when I showed the LP. Um, I don't know why I didn't. I should have. It would have made a lot more sense. But, um... Inquisition. Invoking... Or, uh, why, did, why was I going to say that? Uh, bloodshed and cross the Empyrean Altar beyond the Celestial Zenith. Uh, it's a fucking mouthful. Also picked this up at my local record store. This album is just too good to not own on all formats. <laughs> if they had this shit on cassette, I would buy it. Uh, I think it's pretty much just lyrics. Well, no, there's some pictures which were, which were on the the, L, the vinyl version as well. But they're worth showing again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, not going to spend too much time talking about this because I already talked about it in my last update. Really fucking good album though, man. Um, if you dig Inquisition and you, and you haven't checked this album out, definitely do so. It's good stuff. Um, definitely better than their, than their previous album, um, Obscure Versus for the Multiverse, or whatever it's called. Really good stuff. So yeah, Inquisition... Bloodshed across the Imperial Altar, beyond the Celestial Zenith. Um, okay, now this band, um... I, I like this band, you know, but, um, 
I know there's a lot of people that like just really fucking love this band. Um, personally, I think they're average. I don't think they're like super amazing like a lot of people make them out to be. But um, this is Pro Fanatica with Thy Kingdom Come. And no, it is not spelled like C-O-M. It's spelled C-U-M. See right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, pretty good album. Personally, I prefer their first album, which I forgot the name of it. I'm drawing a blank. I think this is their third or fourth album. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, if you're not familiar with Pro Fanatica, a black metal band from the U.S., That's, that's all that's inside the booklet. Um, like I said, these guys are all right. Um, I honestly think that um, they're kind of, I don't want to say overrated, but there just seems to be a lot of people that praise the fuck out of them. Um, I like them, though. They're, they're, they're pretty good. I just didn't think this album was near as good as their first album, but... Um, I think this album's gotten better reviews, especially on the Metal Archives, which is weird. But, I don't know. Um, actually, another thing, too. Um, one of my friends, he's... Uh, fuck. He's putting together a show in January, and he's actually trying to get Pro Fanatica to, play, to headline that show. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it or not, but... Um, he's been talking to them. Not sure if it's going to happen, but that'd be pretty fucking cool <laughs> to, uh, to have them come play and headline that show. But shit, we'll wait and see. So yeah, uh, Pro Fanatica, Thy Kingdom Come. Pretty, uh, decent album. If you're into black metal and if you've never checked out Pro Fanatica, they're definitely worth checking out though. Alrighty. Oh, man. I love this album. Um, this is Satyricon with Dark Medieval Times. Fuck. This is, this is such a great fucking album, man. Um, definitely, definitely my favorite Satyricon album. And their best album, in my opinion. I know a lot of people say that they think Nemesis Divini Divina is their best album, but in my opinion... This is so much better. Um, they just, they had a lot of like folky kind of elements on this album that they that I feel they kind of abandoned um, afterwards. Um, they they kind of kept some of it when they, on the Shadow Throne, which was their next album, but there wasn't really any of that on Nemesis Divina. See, I got this off Discogs for a pretty good price. Um, I think this is the 2006 pressing, uh, U.S. pressing. Yeah, it was uh, on Moonfog Productions, which was Satyricon's uh, label, and uh, but no uh, the end record the end records did the North American distribution. So yeah. Really fucking good album though, man, and and the music um, is such a perfect, uh, um, just it perfectly matches the album title, the album title, Dark Medieval Times. It's fucking awesome. Like, I mean, if you ever heard this album, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Just I fucking love this record. Um, I would I would kill to get this on vinyl. I know they just reissued Nemesis Divina. I don't know who did that. Did I don't know. Did Century Media do that re reissue? I don't know who did that reissue. I forgot. Um, but they definitely need to reissue the Shadow Throne and Dark Medieval Times, um, just because. Um, just they're just so expensive. The vinyl is so expensive, um, and they have they haven't been, they have never been like properly reissued. I think one of them had like an unofficial reissue, which even that goes for fucking, you know, ridiculous amounts of money. And like an original LP pressing goes for each of these goes for like fucking a few hundred dollars, which is ridiculous, you know. 
But this is just such a good fucking album, man. I mean, those of you that listen to black metal, I'm assuming you've heard this album. But if you haven't, uh, definitely, definitely got to give this a listen. Um, I'm, I mean, Satyricon is one of the, uh, one of the Norwegian bands that I'm like, like, I, I like, I like their first few albums, but that's pretty much it. Um, but fuck man, this, this is a really fucking good album. Um, if I would have remembered, I would have probably included this album back when I did my, uh, top essential black metal albums, but, um, fuck. Good fucking album, man. Definitely check this out if you haven't. So that's Satyricon, Dark Medieval Times. Glad to fucking have this. Alrighty, time for the record. <sighs> Satanic War Master, Corellian Satanist Madness. Their third album, third full length. Got this off Discogs, um, pretty good price. I think I got it for like, um, around 20 bucks, um, brand new. I don't remember which pressing this is. I should have checked. It's, it's no colors records, but I don't remember the year. I'm pretty sure this was not an original pressing. I just don't remember the year this one came out. I know the, the album came out. When, what year did the album come out? Fuck, I'm drawing a huge blank. I think the album came out in like 2005 or something like that. But this particular pressing, I don't know when it came out. Um, really nice uh, thick inner sheet here. Lyrics on this side. And... Uh, it's kind of creepy picture of a cemetery, I guess, on this side. <clears throat> Just black vinyl. Nothing real special on the labels. I'm guessing it says side anger is on this side. And then this side is side blood. Yeah. Yeah, man, I... It's just been so fucking nice to get some more Satanic War Master stuff on vinyl, man. I mean, definitely one of my favorite fucking black metal bands. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing the, actually wearing that album shirt right now. <laughs> fucking awesome. I would kill to see this band live, not even joking. I really like that picture. Um, I guess that's Werewolf. That'd be my guess. Since he's the mastermind behind Satanic War Master. Still have to get a couple other of their full lengths on vinyl. But their stuff is just so pricey to get on vinyl. Um, and then most of the time if you do find it for a good deal, which with this one I did... Um, you got to pay for me since I live in the U S and you got to pay the fucking ridiculous shipping costs. So that fucking sucks. But <clears throat> really good fucking album though, man. I mean, I've, I've said it before. Satanic war master can do no wrong. Everything they fucking do is gold. Good stuff. So satanic war master, Corellian Satanist madness. Definitely check that out if you haven't. It's good shit. All right, guys, that's it. Um, good. I kept this one pretty short, so that's good. I know there's a lot of people that do not like long updates, so. All right. Um, uh, plan on doing another video this week. Don't know what it'll be, but we'll see. Or I might not. Just depends on how I'm feeling. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out any of this shit if you haven't. It's all good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.